They looked like, I, I believe the 48 had a tire go down and, and everyone just, it was almost like a record that's on our town day. Came up and everyone just sandwiched on in there. They just said, nice manners. Yeah, it definitely has, you know, when you're committed to running that top line and you have somebody to plug it up. turn two was it was enough just to cut the right front down yeah you see the the tire mark on the back of brandon jones's you see the well right there yeah tires down oh gosh just nowhere to go for all these guys all these guys here in the back did a good job getting this thing cranked to the bottom you may be on tv saying why did they just turn left they were already turning left as sharp as they possibly can going at the speeds they are and trying to blow a car up to, to change directions is what they're already trying to do so trying to ask more of it is always very, very challenging. And as a driver, you're, you're kind of in a position, too, to where you don't want to just slam on the brakes and get rear-ended from behind and turn yourself. So it's always a, to me, it's always a balance of how much do I slow down and try to miss this? But in those, those guys were just a, a lot of cars there that were. You see Ellis just barely getting through there, missing the back bumper right in seat by an inch. And everything happens so fast, you know, and, and sometimes you just can't react uh, react fast enough. But. Well, we'll get all this cleaned up, see if we can come back and make some consecutive laps here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. 